When I joined the RCMP, the RCMP offered something that other police forces was not offering. I wanted to see the other side, getting to know the people that I serve. By talking to other police officers, they're like, you'd, like to, you, you'd probably love the North. The North is a completely different, different gig. The people of the Yukon have a really good relationship with the police officers. Originally, the RCMP, they, you can look this up, they were created to take care of the Indian problem. They didn't exist except for to take us out to march, take the kids and march them off to residential school. And there is a serious um, level of distrust because, well, that's all of that stuff. People don't want to talk or open up to them just because it's multi-generations of reasons not to. Residential schools took youth away from their home and culture. And I think, um, Elders and adults want to give, um, like to show youth about their culture and language. I'm glad that they're doing it and I really do think that this is needed. Like, we talk about reconciliation. I really, I really, I really appreciate that they're doing this. The RCMP are wanting to do this trip to help build relationships and connection to uh, young people in the Yukon. For the RCMP to want to do the, this trip is a great way of how we can help the young people understand that they're allies and they're there to support them. When I wanted to go up north, they offered me different places in Northwest Territory, different places in Nunavut, and they offered me Old Crow in the Yukon. So I looked at all the pros and cons, made my little research, and you know what? A small community of 250 people, flying only. It's a little bit intimidating because I've never been to anything like this, but after a week of being there, I'm like, all right, this is it, this is a good spot. And the, the community of Old Crow was extremely welcoming. Like after a month, everybody knew me by my first name. Max. It's like not like constable, officer. It's like, hey Max, how's it going? Hi Max. When you're driving around town, everybody waves at you. So I quite enjoy that. And also another part is getting to know the kids. There's not as many. So I go from a place where there is over 30 schools to a place where there is about 30 students. So you get to know each one of them. I want them to see me as more than just a police officer, as a human being as a friend. If I can improve the image that these kids have uh, on the police or the RCMP, I think it's been a pretty successful trip.
I came out here to heal my spirit. I knew that I needed to be here because the water is healing and the land is healing. And it's not heaven, but it's like the next closest thing to it. There's people that misunderstand it and they probably would call some youth, you know, troubled children or other words that are just unacceptable. You know, we have youth who are labeled, but if you put them in a canoe or put them to work or get them to do something, they can do it. We're not troubled, we just, we just carry a lot of stuff and if we're able to be supported, challenged or put out on the land, you could see their heart and their soul. Yeah. We all need to put back exactly everything that residential schools took away by giving these kids stuff to do, stuff to be proud about. Give them their strength, give them pride to remember who they are, who we come from, the greatest warriors ever. And I want to help them to remember it. I was extremely surprised and pleasantly surprised that all nine of them get along. They all play. Nobody's left out. Nobody's being bullied. Like, everybody is just playing, laughing, having fun. And the fact that we're being out on the land, well, I've never seen kids play cops and robbers, tag, hide and seek as much as I did in the last four days. We have Max, who's one of the officers who is based out of uh, Oak Crow right now. He's really great with the youth, and last night he was playing cards with them. Now I've gotten to know Max and else I wouldn't really guess him to be part of the RCMP. Mm, they seem really nice. In movies, cops are always really mean. They're so calm with me if I'm struggling with something. They'll help me through it. Matt is a great friend. He helps out a lot. He helps people with their tents if they need help. He's a good person. You know what? I forgot about, I kind of forgot that he was a cop. I just knew him as Max. I think trips like this needs to be more frequent. These two girls, they're doing a phenomenal job. Uh, Bobby Rose, the way that she includes the little things about their culture, the land, into everyday discussions, I think it's phenomenal. It's connecting the youth to their culture. And in relation to organizing the trip, oh, they're taking great care of us. Like it's not an easy job to be looking after nine teenagers as well as, I'm not easy to, uh, to be look, looked after either, but yeah, it, I think they're doing a pretty phenomenal job. They're both really helping me to see exactly the logistic side of it. Um, just the way they do dishes, the way they pack things. So I'm really grateful that they're showing me this. The universe puts people in your path at the right time, and uh, I really do feel that. I started Dinju's Adventures for these kind of opportunities for organizations or businesses like the RCMP who want to gain those connections and relationships with our people. And I think it's necessary, it's fundamental. We need that kind of relationship. I think it makes them realize that the uh, career of being a police officer is more human. Like, you can actually make a change, make a difference. It's been a, a great trip, a great experience. Uh, I'm having lots of fun. I love getting to know these kids. Uh, and I kind of becoming a kid again. Yeah, I'm very, very thankful to be here.